Welcome to Maze Engineers. Maze Basics, Heb Williams Maze. The Heb Williams Maze consists of a square arena with dynamic interior walls. One corner is designated the start of the maze and the opposing corner contains a box to hold a food reward. Since rodents can remember the path that led them to food, they will always try to follow this path subsequently. Thus, the Heb Williams Maze was designed to be a test of intelligence in rats. The Heb Williams Mazes are performed within several days in three phases, an acclimation phase, an acquisition phase, and a testing phase. Phase 1. In the acclimation, the animal is introduced to the arena without any interior walls in place and allowed to explore the arena for about 5 to 10 minutes. After several habituation trials in an empty arena, a food reward may be placed in the goal box for some more baited habituation trials. This phase should generally last about 3 to 4 days with the first trials unbaited and the last few trials baited. After the animal has been sufficiently acclimated to the arena and to the reward box, the next phase of the experimentation may begin. Phase 2 The second phase, known as the acquisition phase, is when experimentation begins. The interior walls and food reward are used here. Six acquisition mazes, A through F, that are considered very simple to allow animals to learn how to successfully navigate a maze are used and are run in a consistent order and in two sessions per day. Each acquisition session consists of around nine trials which are timed. This phase is complete when each animal can complete the full battery of nine trials in less than one minute total for two consecutive sessions. Phase 3 The testing phase begins once all animals have met criterion of the acquisition stage. There are 12 standardized mazes, 1 through 12, for this phase and are tested in the same order for all subjects. Unlike the acquisition phase, only one maze is used per session, with each subject having around 5 trials per session with a given maze. In the acquisition phase, the primary measures of performance are time to complete a maze and number of sessions. While in the testing phase, the emphasis is on the number of errors made as the primary measure of performance in terms of spatial learning. Any entry into a portion of the maze that does not lead to the goal box is considered an error. A successful trial occurs when the rodent progresses through the maze quickly with no errors. The Heb Williams maze is flexible and could be used to assess problem-solving differences between rodent strains, drug treatments, and models of disease, among other manipulations. One of the most notable qualities of the Heb Williams maze is its potential for cross-species application. A maze such as the Heb Williams maze that is sensitive to many natural and manipulated factors such as sex, environmental enrichment, drug administration, and genetic manipulations is an attractive candidate for cross-species assessments of problem-solving and intelligence. MazeEngineers.com